Dingle is a unique place. It is situated in the southwest corner of Ireland, on the very edge of Europe, really. There are people here you wouldn't meet anywhere else in the world, and we have a long and varied history. How are you doing? Good to see you. We should have... I suppose to an outsider, it might be strange to hear that a small, isolated town like Dingle could ever be connected to the French Revolution and to Maria Antoinette. The man most responsible for the plan to rescue Marie Antoinette from revolutionary France was a Dingle man, James Louis Rice. The Rices were a wealthy merchant family who had lived in the Dingle area for many generations. This building behind me was the Rice family home and is now in the grounds of Colosh de Ida in Burnham across the harbour from Dingle. James Louis Rice was born in 1730. He was a son of a Dingle merchant, Tom Rice, who was known locally as Black Tom. He had built up an extensive shipping business, trading wine between France, Spain and Dingle. In Ireland during the penal times, there were no facilities for the education of Catholics. Many Irish parents, Black Tom included, decided to send their children to the continent for their education. Young James Louis Rice entered the Irish College at Louvain, Belgium, with a view to studying for the priesthood. He decided that the life as a priest was not for him, so he left and joined the Irish Brigade of the Austrian Army. While attending the military academy, James Louis became firm friends with another young student, Joseph, the son of Marie Therese, the Empress of Austria. James Louis proved to be a soldier of exceptional ability and outstanding personality and rose rapidly through the ranks of the Austrian Army. His friend Joseph was to become Joseph II, Emperor of Austria, and his younger sister, Marie Antoinette was to become the Queen of France. It was this connection which gave young James Louis Rice access to the highest levels of society in Vienna. He was a frequent guest at the soirees and the official balls and banquets in the Schönbrunn Palace, the impressive imperial home on the outskirts of Vienna. Here in the famous Hall of Mirrors, this young son of Dingle dined and danced the night away with the social elite of Europe. He and his friend, Joseph II, often played cards in the royal apartment late into the night. This close friendship meant that he was well known to all members of the Austrian royal family. So here we have a truly remarkable individual. Not only has he overseas connections to the shipping industry, but he has been educated abroad has had years of military experience and is friends to the most powerful royal family in Europe. In 1792, James Louis Rice was in his early 60s and the French Revolution was in its third year. By this stage, his friend Marie Antoinette, her husband Louis XVI, and their two surviving children were in prison in Paris. It was late in that year, 1792, when James Louis' rescue plan was drawn up and set in motion. He recruited a group of men to help him. These included Thomas Trant, who was from a wealthy Catholic family based in Cahira Trantig near Ventry, and William Hickey of Bally Longford. The fourth member of this group was Count Waters of Paris whose ancestors came from a Croom County Cork. He was married to James Louis' sister, Mary. All four men had the military experience, the resources and the guile to make the escape possible. The plan was daring and simple. The warders guarding the Queen were bribed to allow her to escape and a disguise was prepared for her. A relay of post horses was arranged to bring Marie Antoinette with all speed to the port of Nantes where a wine ship owned by the Rice family would bring her across the sea to safety in Dingle. Here in James Louis' house in Dingle Town, a room was prepared for the Queen. After a suitable time spent recuperating from her ordeal in prison, she was to travel to London, then on to Brussels, and from there to the sanctuary of her native Vienna. 
James Louis and his men arrived in Paris as planned. By now, the king was being held in a separate prison to his wife after the failed escape attempt known as the Flight to Varennes. With everything in place, the plan was put to the queen. Safety was within her grasp, but it meant leaving her husband and children behind. No, I will not ever abandon the king, was her reply. She threw away a chance to gain her freedom and save herself. In the year 2010, the Austrian ambassador, Dr. Walter Haag, unveiled this plaque on the building still known as the Rice House. It commemorates the attempt to rescue Marie Antoinette by four courageous, resourceful Irish men that almost changed the course of European history.